you have two choices. You can try to eliminate risk by learning about as many market variables as possible. I call this the black hole of analysis because it is the path of ultimate frustration. Or, you can learn how to redefine your trading activities in such a way that you truly accept the risk and you're no longer afraid. When you've achieved a state of mind where you truly accept the risk, you won't have the potential to define and interpret market information in painful ways. When you eliminate the potential to define market information in painful ways, you also eliminate the tendency to rationalize, hesitate, jump the gun, hope that the market will give you money, or hope that the market will save you from your inability to cut your losses. As long as you are susceptible to the kinds of errors that are the result of rationalizing, justifying, hesitating, hoping, and jumping the gun, you will not be able to trust yourself. If you can't trust yourself to be objective and to always act in your own best interests, achieving consistent results will be next to impossible. Trying to do something that looks so simple may well be the most exasperating thing you will ever attempt to do. The irony is that when you have the appropriate attitude, when you have acquired a trader's mindset and can remain confident in the face of constant uncertainty, trading will be as easy and simple as you probably thought it was when you first started out. So, what's the solution? You will need to learn how to adjust your attitudes and beliefs about trading in such a way that you can trade without the slightest bit of fear. But, at the same time, keep a framework in place that does not allow you to become reckless. Trading presents us with a fundamental paradox. How do we remain disciplined, focused, and confident in the face of constant uncertainty? When you have learned how to think like a trader, that's exactly what you'll be able to do. Learning how to redefine your trading activities in a way that allows you to completely accept the risk is the key to thinking like a successful trader. Learning to accept the risk is a trading skill, the most important skill you can learn. Yet, it's rare that developing traders focus any attention or expend any effort to learn it. When you learn the trading skill of acceptance, the market will not be able to generate information that you define or interpret as painful. If the information the market generates doesn't have the potential to cause you emotional pain, there's nothing to avoid. It's just information telling you what the possibilities are. This is called an objective perspective, one that is not skewed or distorted by what you are afraid is going to happen or not happen. I'm sure there isn't one trader listening to this audiobook who hasn't gotten into trades too soon before the market has actually generated a signal. Oh, I'm going to DR. She got no tickets, no luggage, and she's just in DR. And, and police called. My grandfather had to pick him, pick her up at the airport. She told the cab to take her to DR. She had no money to pay the cab, and she wasn't going to DR. She had no ticket. Like she just is crazy, bro. Like that. That bipolar joint is really rough, bro. Bipolar, bipolar disorder.